Our goal is simply this. You see, the councillors and myself as chairman and councillors would like to see that our services improve. The word excellence is always in our mind. The thing is that we have to transform our delivery system. By doing that, we have to bring along our contractors. Those contractors that work for SMC must know what our goals are. Second thing, the most important thing is that whatever we perform our duty, because we are a government uh, agency, that we must perform our duty with integrity. Integrity is the most important thing so that the people that we serve will trust us. They will trust that they will call upon us when they have a problem. Because the people will say that if I call the chairman, I call the deputy chairman, I call the councillors, I call the staff, they will act upon it to solve their problems. If we have this sort of trust between residents and the councillors, I think our job it will be made so much easier. And in the case of council, our customers are the people in Cebu. And that is why this kind and caring uh, attitude must also go all the way from councillors to staff to our contractors as well. Now, in terms of professionalism, I would like to see that not only the staff, I know the staff uh, work daily and has, you know, bear a lot and try to be as professional as possible. But I still go around and see our contractors. They must be made known to them that they are as much a part of SMC as the staff and as the councillors. So if they don't work professionally, SMC looks bad, the staff looks bad, councillors look bad, chairman look even worse. So that is why we need to change that. And of course, sense of urgency is without a doubt in terms of service we have to show a sense of agency for the people. But the problem is the staff and the contractors, they don't work the same hours as, as, uh, as the councillors. So what happens is there is a lack of team spirit because this sort of thing need to be, we need to adjust this sort of system and result oriented. And in order for us to achieve as much as possible. Now my vision and the state government vision, the Ministry of Local Government's vision is that all the councils, including SMC, will be a people and result-oriented authority by 2021. So in order to achieve this, our goals that I have outlined just now will have to be adjusted so that we can achieve this very, very ambitious goal of being people and result-oriented local authority by 2021. What we have to do is that we have to dare to be different we have to dare to be different. So my proposal is this. There are a lot of people in Cebu who are very concerned about their own neighbourhood. And that is why SMC will work closely with those neighbourhood committees, those neighbourhood leaders in which they are registered, because only through them only through them, we can get the information. We 
will know what are the needs of the people in the area. And I hope that there are more neighborhood committees that will come to approach SMC so that we can work together. The public is more aware of the need of a healthy lifestyle. So and many of them, it is not just myself, it is also the community who is coming forward, looking at, there are a lot of open spaces, asking SMC to build community gardens so that the community can come together and enjoy the space to do exercise, to have group meetings, to have gatherings in their neighbourhood. And this is something which I strongly encourage and I, SMC will work with the local neighbourhood committees to try and build as many community gardens as, as possible. We have uh, done a green market which is in the process, should be ready by year 2020 to do composting. I feel that one of the very important things in any council is how do we treat food waste. In many countries, food waste are properly collected. They are not thrown in the rubbish bin because all these food waste are go to become animal feed. We can give this food waste or maybe even sell it for cash to farmers who need all this food waste for their animal feed. And that is why we are strongly proposing, I am strongly in favour of doing centralised home composting food composting, so that we can turn food waste not just as animal feed, but also fertilizers. So in short, I can tell you, in 2020, I would like to transform Cebu into a clean, beautiful, safe and vibrant municipality for 2020. We can make Cebu better together in 2020. Work with me. Trust me on this point. Cebu will be better when we work together.